Hey, I watched the crack. Welcome to my video where I will be showing you how I got the platinum trophy for Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And if you don't know who the main character of this game is, let me introduce you. This is Lawrence Croft, I mean Nathan Drake, and he is a treasure hunter. And speaking of treasure hunter, this leads on to the first trophy that I managed to wrangle called First Treasure. And it may not be Nathan Drake's first treasure to pick up, but it's ours. And that's what you get the trophy for. Also, there will be spoilers for this video. And I never said what this game is about. It's about Nathan finding of the treasure of El Dorado. But with also finding out where the treasure is, I also want to find out who makes and plans these puzzles for people to just come across and try and figure out. And what is an action game without a bit of shooting, which goes on till the next trophy, Headshot Expert. And you can acquire this trophy by showing off your shooting skills and getting five headshots on enemies in a row. And because I like to pretend to be a show off, I got my next trophy straight after it with 20 headshots. And you get this for getting 20 headshots. I find it so hard to believe I can get headshots I mean, look at this shooting. It is brutal. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next trophy I managed to get called Novice Fortune Hunter. And you acquire this for collecting 10 treasures. In between the trophy hunting and looking for the actual treasure, I do wonder, is he lucky or just very unlucky? <laughs> I mean, he just seems to have the worst, best luck ever. <laughs> but cracking on with the next trophy, I got 50 kills with a PM 9mm. The trophy may be a mouthful, but how you get it is getting 50 kills with this gun. It's nice to see that even blind people can get work with pirates and like look at that for aim <laughs> and speaking of aim this leads to the next trophy i got 50 kills with an ak-47 and i feel like i've said something like this before but you get this by killing 50 people with an ak i died a lot in this game especially at this part but i had to show this because i just found it too funny <laughs> the next trophy i acquired was 100 headshots and you can acquire this trophy by getting 100 headshots i was at this part so long that even nathan drake was getting frustrated with him <laughs> but i eventually did get past it to get my next trophy Trophy, triple dynamite and you can gain this trophy by using a grenade launcher and taking out three enemies at once and on to a not so violent trophy now called relic finder and this trophy is got by collecting a strange relic it looks so familiar i can't place it though <laughs> the next trophy i managed to scrounge up was very similar it was called intermediate fortune hunter and this can be got by collecting 20 of the treasures around the map <laughs> this fella could have been a long jumper in the olympics look the height he got but moving on to the next trophy it's 30 kills with M79 and it's getting 30 kills with this specific weapon <laughs> and while in that same area I managed to get my next trophy which was 250 headshots and I'll let you guess what I got that for <laughs> at this point you gotta be wondering what Drake is thinking like is the treasure really worth it <laughs> like genuinely what treasure is worth this it definitely is not worth this next trophy brutal brawler and to get your hands on this trophy you'll have to do the brutal combo on enemies five times after Nathan makes a discovery of where the treasure could be we actually find out that one of the pirates has absolutely Absolutely no manners. After teaching him some manners, I went on to claim my next trophy. 30 kills, MK, NDI. Jesus Christ. Why couldn't they just say grenade kills? It's a grenade kill. You get it for grenade kills. <laughs> the next trophy's name is a bit simpler to pronounce. Professional Fortune Hunter. And you get this for picking up 30 of the 60 treasures in the game. So you're telling me these doors can stay up. As long as I don't shoot the lock off it, they can stay up. Fantastic engineering right there. <laughs> the next trophy I got was very similar to the last one. It's called Professional Fortune hunter and that thing is terrifying <laughs> but this game isn't all about terrifying stuff in fact it shows stuff like this and this is just hilarious <laughs> but enough of making fun of the game let's get on with the next trophy i got 20 kills with desert 5 which is getting 20 kills with a desert gun not much more to say on that and we're back with the treasure collection with the next trophy expert fortune hunter and this is for collecting your 50th piece of treasure throughout the game <laughs> could you imagine he just took a look at these pages and was like nah i'm stumped lads let's go home can't figure it out <laughs> and for another long-winded trophy name it was called 50 kills 92 fs 9 millimeter <laughs> i don't know why it has to be so long <laughs> just get 50 kills with this gun and you get this trophy <laughs> after passing that part i want to show this because i hate these things so much <laughs> i will let you guess why <laughs> but what i don't hate is getting trophies like this next one 30 kills mp40 a nice short name <laughs> and you can acquire this trophy by getting 30 kills with this weapon against these weapons things and what is it with game developers feeling the need to put in supernatural shite in games like this game is fine without all these creepy things <laughs> moving on anyways with the next trophy i got 50 kills mp4 you shoot 50 enemies you kill 50 enemies you get trophy <laughs> with this gun and similar to the last two this one is called 30 kills dragon sniper gaining this trophy is quite easy believe it or not you have to get 30 kills with a sniper rifle <laughs> the next trophy that i managed to stumble into was called master fortune hunter and how you can gain 
in this trophy is by collecting all of the 60 pieces of treasure throughout the game. And this trophy, Master Thief Collection, is very similar to the last one. It's for collecting all 60 pieces of treasure and that one relic artifact. And this is a first for me on this channel. This is where I get four trophies in one. And they are called Charted Easy, Charted Normal, Charted Hard. And then for this final trophy, which is the difficulty I played on, Charted Crushing. And that's why I unlocked four trophies at once, because I played on the crushing difficulty and completed the whole game. Before I did come to the end of the game though, this part right here made me so close to quitting. It was unreal. <laughs> and here's Nathan warming up for the next trophy that I got. And that trophy that I got was called Brutal Slugger. And of course, how you gain this trophy is by taking out 20 enemies using the Brutal Combo. And we are not done with beating people up just yet, because the next trophy was called Brutal Expert. And to acquire this trophy was quite easy. You just have to take out five enemies using the Brutal Combo in a row. And now we have a couple of explosive trophies, starting with the first one, Dynamite Master. And it's quite similar to the other trophy. The only difference is you have to kill three enemies five times in a row with a grenade launcher. Moving on to the next explosive trophy I got, Grenade Hangman. And you can get this from hanging around and throwing grenades at people and killing them 10 times. By the way, this trophy, you have to kill your enemies, not yourself. Don't do what I did. <laughs> While still hanging around, I decided to get my next trophy as well, Hangman. And like I said, you can get this trophy from hanging around and killing 20 enemies with a gun. No more hanging around for this next trophy called Steel Fist. You're not hanging around anymore, but you still need your gun because you need to run up and shoot them and then kill them with a punch five times in a row. And for this next trophy, Steel Fist Expert, it's the exact same as the last one, but you have to do it 10 times in a row. I know, how creative are these trophies? <laughs> Although there is something absolutely hilarious about watching Nathan Drake dropkick someone. <laughs> Continuing on to the next trophy I got though, called Master Ninja. It sounds a lot cooler than it is because what you have to do to acquire this trophy is sneak up behind someone and unalive them 50 times. And the easiest way to do this is just use chapter 4 over and over again. <laughs> and now for the most unpractical trophy I've ever gotten, Run and Gunner. And the reason I think it's the most unpractical trophy is you have to run and kill 20 people with hip fire with no cover. <laughs> How desperate are these bad guys for people? Like Jesus Christ, he's trying to unalive himself. <laughs> if they're still looking, I can definitely fill this role. <laughs> but until then, let's move on to the next trophy that I got called Survivor. And you can get this trophy quite easily just by killing 75 enemies. Don't do this on crushing difficulty. You will hate it. <laughs> and now we are back to the gun killing trophies. Starting with 50 kills, Moss 12. <laughs> 50 kills with this gun, trophy earned. There you go. And the next gun trophy is 20 kills, West 44. Get 20 kills with the West 44. This trophy was actually kind of fun to get <laughs> because it kills them quick. And finally, the last trophy gun kill was called 50 kills micro 9 mm. I feel like I'm trying to get out of code every time I say one of these. <laughs> okay, so how you get this one, stay with me now, is get 50 kills with this weapon. <laughs> and now we're on to the more interesting trophy parts of this game, like this one. These walls can't stop me. And how you can obtain this trophy is by completing the speedrunning challenge in chapter 5 in less than 10 minutes. Do the speedrun mode in this as well. Still with the speedrunning trophies, the next one was up a short creek without a paddle. And to get this trophy, you have to speedrun through chapter 12 and complete it in less than 5 minutes. And this is the final speedrunning challenge trophy. It was called a speedy reunion. And oh my god, was this a pain in the ass. <laughs> and once again, to acquire this trophy, complete chapter 16 in less than 7 minutes. And now for the next trophy, shoot some b-roll for Elena. And to get this trophy, just go into photo mode in the game. Quite simple. And with that then, I got the platinum trophy for Uncharted. And this game was quite fun to play, but I'll give you my rating. It was 6 out of 10. This game gives off quite a challenge if you play it on crushing mode, especially this part. Even if you pace yourself, you will die a lot. <laughs> with that rating given, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one and goodbye.